Konnichiwa, welcome back. Dr. Brace is here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to talk about a pretty fun subject. It's how do clear aligners work? We'll kind of approach this in, in two separate steps. Number one, what can you expect as the patient? What's your experience going to be like with the clear aligners? And then biologically, what's happening with the clear aligners? Step one, schedule a consultation with an orthodontist, and they're going to go over with you Make sure your teeth are healthy enough to move. Make sure you don't have any cavities and things like that. Make sure your bone and your gums are healthy. And then Invisalign is right for you. They'll go over the, the pluses, the minuses, all the benefits of Invisalign versus braces. We've done a video on that, so we're not going to discuss that today. But that's, that's kind of the first step. If you decide, yes, I want to do Invisalign, I want to straighten my teeth, then the next thing that they're going to do is they're going to take a 3D scan of your teeth. It's really easy. You sit in a chair and there'll be a little wand and that wand just takes pictures of your teeth. And then the software is smart enough where it takes every single one of those pictures, it maps them together and it makes a, a digital model of your teeth. Now, the good news about getting scanned is it used to be before these scanners were invented, you had to do an impression for your Invisalign. So you had to take a mold of your teeth, but that mold had to be so precise and so accurate that it took about seven minutes to set up so can you imagine having an impression in your mouth for seven minutes that would be terrible but we don't have to do that anymore we can use scanners and then following that scan the orthodontist is going to take that scan they're going to track uh, transfer it into whichever digital software that they use so like I said I use mostly Invisalign and once I get that scan into the Invisalign software that's when I can start to have fun with it so I get to take the teeth I get to move them where I want to, want them to go and I set the case up once I'm happy with the setup, what I usually do is I will send my patients the video of that setup so they can see step by step how the teeth are going to move and where I want to finish them. And the reason why I do that is it, it, once you see where your teeth are and where they're headed, it gets you pretty excited about the treatment and you say, oh my gosh, my teeth are going to look like that. Fantastic. And so that's my way to kind of motivate people to follow through with their promises to wear their trays. Once you get your setup and you're happy with it, I'm happy with it, we're going to hit submit that that case is now going to be set up and processed by Invisalign. They may, depending on the difficulty of the case, I'm just going to throw a number out there, they may decide that it's going to take 30 trays to get the tooth from point A to point B, to get your teeth where you want them to be. So what I do at that point, you'll, they'll send us, they'll ship us your 30 trays. We're going to put some attachments on your teeth, and those attachments are to help facilitate and move those teeth. So once you have your attachments on, you wear your aligners. And then depending on the orthodontist you go to, I have my, my most of my patients wear the, each tray for one week. So if we have 30 trays, you're going to wear each tray for one week, and it's going to take 30 weeks to get to the, to the end of your first round of treatment. Now, I always tell patients, I set the case up perfectly in the software. I don't anticipate that the teeth are going to move 100% how I plan it in the software. And I'm supposed to be perfect. Once you finish that first round of 30 aligners or whatever that number is, the teeth are going to look a lot better. It's probably not going to be perfect at that point. So that's when you do what is called a refinement. Uh, we'll take another scan of your teeth. We'll send that to Invisalign. We'll do the process over again. And so those refinements are important to pick up those final movements that didn't fully express in the first round of aligners. Once you finish and everything's perfect and you're happy and I'm happy, we're going to take your attachments off and then we'll get you into some retainers to where I have my patients wear the retainers full time for a number of months and then we switch to nighttime only. The retainer part is very important because again, if you don't wear your retainers as we've discussed in a previous video, everything's gonna go back to how it was. So that's how the Invisalign works kind of from start to finish and that's what you can expect when you're, when you're doing something like uh, clear aligners to straighten your teeth. Now, one of the big differences between Invisalign and braces is success of Invisalign relies much more on the patient than it does on the orthodontist. If you don't wear those aligners enough, they are not going to move your teeth. And I have teenagers especially that sometimes try to trick me and they're like, you know, I wear my aligners all day and I, I can check and if the teeth aren't moving within that tray, I can tell them, listen, I can tell you're not wearing these enough. How much are you actually wearing these? And then that's when they kind of like, confess just at night that's not enough that's not going to move your teeth you have to wear these for 20 to 22 hours a day for this to actually work okay so this is like it's, it's critical with Invisalign that, that you actually wear them enough now one reason why you're going to go back and have checks with your orthodontist is they're going to check and make sure those teeth are tracking so 
for me, if I feel like a patient's compliant and they're doing a good job and I can trust them to continue to wear their aligners and they don't need to be monitored as much, I'll have them go 15 weeks sometimes, 18 weeks. I've got a lot of patients in college that aren't in Las Vegas. And so we send them with their entire amount of aligners for that entire semester. And then I just do follow-up Zoom calls or whatever with them. That's one of the beauties of aligners is you don't have to go back and see the orthodontist for actual tightening of wires like you do with braces. You can just have those aligners and you don't have to be checked quite as frequently. Now, if I have a patient that's not doing such a good job, I wanna hold that patient accountable. And so sometimes in cases like those, I'll have them come every four to six weeks just because they know that appointment's coming soon. I need to wear my aligners or the orthodontist is gonna get on me for not wearing them enough. But that, that part's really important with the Invisalign part, with, the, um, with wearing your Invisalign and making sure it's going to do what it's actually intended to do. Now. We talked about this in a previous video, but braces to straighten your teeth, they pull. Invisalign pushes. And so that makes it so that it, there's certain movements it can't do so well. So when we talk about attachments in Invisalign, there's certain kinds of attachments. Let's say you have a tooth that's rotated and you need to turn it. Sometimes that's a little bit of a complex move for Invisalign. And so you're going to put an attachment here so that that Invisalign can now push on that attachment to help it rotate. Similarly, if you need to move, let's say you need to move some front teeth down right? That's something that Invisalign has a hard time with. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a ledged attachment here so that that aligner has something now to push to help bring that tooth down. Uh, sometimes you need attachments just to help help with movements on other teeth. So if I'm doing a, a down movement here, maybe the tooth next to it, I want an up attachment here so that I get a, a double force on that tooth. And so a lot of the times the attachments are critical in getting those teeth to move the way that you want them to. Uh, the patients sometimes, like I had a case today, true story, that was like, I didn't know there was going to be this many attachments. And I just explained to her, listen, I want to get you out of this Invisalign as fast as we possibly can. So I put attachments. I put a lot of attachments because that's going to speed things along pretty significantly. And so once she understood that, she's like, okay, I'm okay with these attachments. But at first she was like kind of shocked how many attachments there were. Um, every case is different. In some cases I don't need that many. Some cases I need a lot, but that's why the attachments are so uh, critical and important. So remember, for a tooth to move orthodontically, whether it's braces or Invisalign, it has to move through bone. And that's that's challenging, right? Because bone is hard. And so we've talked about this in a previous video. So if you're interested in more details, you can click on the link, we'll include it. But tooth is here, this is a tooth, this is bone. I have to somehow get this tooth to move through that bone. So what's gonna happen is once you apply a force to a tooth, it puts pressure on the bone. These cells called osteoclasts come in, they chew this bone away, they resorb it. Now there's a gap, then the tooth can move. But now there's a gap here on the back side, so then the osteoblast is a cell that's going to come in and it's going to build that bone back up. So that's how Invisalign es essentially works. So when we talk about wearing the trays for 20, 22 hours a day, that's why it's so important because if you take the force off of that bone and you lighten that force, guess what? That inflammatory process isn't going to happen. The osteoclasts aren't going to come in and chew that bone away. And so the tooth's not going to move. And so again, when it comes to Invisalign, the, the actual wearing of the trays for 20 to, 20 to 22 hours a day is so critical because you need to create that inflammatory response so that that bone can actually resorb. And if you're not wearing it enough, if you're just wearing it for eight, 10, even 12 hours a day, you're going to have a pressure here on the bone. You might get minor remodeling, but when you take that bone, that pressure away, guess what? That tooth is gonna move back and then the osteoblasts are going to come in and build up the bone where you don't want it to be, right? So you have to keep a consistent force on a tooth for it to be able to successfully move through bone. And that's why that, that 20 to 22 hours is so, so, so important with Invisalign. So it's not for everyone because if you're not compliant, it's not going to work. So for some people, braces is certainly better. If you're not wearing them enough, it's not going to work. And then there's some cases that are just, just you can't yet do with plastic because it's just not going to work. So that's why it's important to consult with your orthodontist. One thing that clear aligner companies like Invisalign will often promote is clear aligners are faster than braces. It's a true statement, but it's a false statement at the same time. Well, yes, but no. But every, every orthodontist may, may 
feel like this a little bit different. But if it's a really easy case, let's say someone had braces when they were kids and they stopped wearing the retainers, the teeth have shifted a little bit, but the bite's still good. Yes, Invisalign will be faster in a case like that. Let's say it's a very difficult, challenging orthodontic case with multiple problems, multiple things we've got to fix. Braces are usually faster in those cases. Um, so when Invisalign says it's faster than braces, yes, that is a correct statement, but that's case to case. So I hope that helped you understand how Invisalign works. Great way to get the smile that you want and that you've always dreamed of. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the, in the comments. We'll make sure we answer. Our next question is going to be, how does insurance work with orthodontics? So if, you have, uh, if you're interested, click on the link below. We look forward to seeing you then. And thank you so much for watching. Remember, smiles change lives. So keep smiling.